The search for America's best cake decorator is on. Hi, I'm Bobby Zucker. I own Three Brothers Bakery in Houston, Texas, and I'm competing on the Houston Cake Show. I'm Carrie Morris. I'm the owner of Something Sweet, and I'm competing in Cake Show Houston. Hi, I'm Mickey Wilson with Cake Tastic Creations, and I'm competing in Cake Show Houston. My name is Peter Hobie, and I'm the owner of Alpron Bakery, and I'm excited to enter the Cake Show Houston. Food industry was in my family's business. They uh, owned restaurant and butcher shop and slaughter home, and I have two brothers who learned that profession, but I wanted to stay in the food industry and chose the baking side, decorating side, became a pastry chef. When I have employees, I, I'm not looking for somebody who knows something already. I want, I want somebody who has ambition, somebody who's willing to learn, somebody who goes the extra mile, who can work a uh, fifth day or sixth day on extra hours when it's needed and somebody just wants to learn and then I'm, I give them every, every help I can what I've learned, pass it on to them and then uh, just be, be patient, be patient, be, don't be afraid of things going wrong or, or touching food or whatever, it, it is here to be worked with. I think every person who is in, the, in any kind of industry, not just pastry, should pass things on they learned to the younger generation. I'm doing this for 35 years and uh, it, it's, I'm still learning. I got involved in cake decorating when my daughter, she had her second birthday. My husband and I wanted to get a cake for her and we couldn't afford it. So I've always baked. So we decided to go ahead and try to make one for her. And it turns out I was pretty good at it. So um, I've been practicing and he's been helping me. And from there we've kind of just been mastering our skills and kind of taken off. I try to make my cakes as clean as possible. I'm really actually a perfectionist. I take every minute that I can to make sure that what I'm giving you is what I told you I would give you. I find a lot of inspiration from um, a decorator in Jersey named Ann Heat. She's the owner of Pink Cake Box and she is pretty much my cake idol. <laughs> I think it's very important to have an idol. If you have no one to look up to, I mean, that is a master at what they do, you really have nothing to strive for. She is, in my eyes, the perfect cake decorator, and I wanna be just like her. My advice to any aspiring decorators out there is to just keep going. It's, it's not easy, and when people tell you that your cakes may not be as good as another person's or they don't wanna to come to you for a certain reason, keep going, keep practicing, take classes, and do whatever that you can to just make yourself better. I grew up here in my family's business and I was dropped off here from a very, very young age. So I've been around it almost all my life. Here it was, cake decorating, 101, learn it, live it. We make the most exciting things when a customer comes in and says, just go for it, do what you think is going to look best. That to us makes it a lot easier to do and we have a lot more fun with it. To me, a well done cake is a cake that someone else really appreciates, that someone else can really say, I really like that. That's what makes me feel good. When I see a customer that shows that they really, really like something, it makes me feel great. For me, the trick to becoming a talented decorator is to practice, and I mean practice, live it, love it, all the time, every day, and you become a great decorator. I got involved in decorating because of my kids. I always wanted them to have really cool birthday cakes, and besides your average grocery store cake, that's all we had where I was from, so that's how I got started decorating. I definitely enjoy the creative side. I don't enjoy the baking. Um, my favorite thing to do is to make something awesome out of a piece of cake. I love to do exciting cakes. Wedding cakes, just plain white wedding cakes, are my worst thing to do. It's so hard for me to just do a plain white cake. I love color, I love to be creative, and a white wedding cake, is you can't do that with that. I love when a client gives me creative control. When they say, do whatever you want to, I completely trust you, then that's when I'm the happiest. And they always get more than they pay for when they let me do that. The trick to a really beautifully done cake is having it clean. I try not to have a lot of jagged edges. And don't be scared, you know. It's just a cake. Don't be afraid of it.